My name is Matt Basket, and I'm an electrician at a manufacturing plant. We sell products all around the world. Today, I'm going to be monitoring a chiller. In order to do that, I'm going to have to monitor it in the control cabinet. Normally, I would go get a power quality analyzer and the proper PPE with arc flash protection in order to do this job. But instead, today I'm going to use the Fluke Connects 3000. This makes it safer for me because I can monitor this without ever having to be in the cabinet while it's active, which is for the limited PPE that I have on right now. Yes, we do have a dial for AC amps and a selection for one, two, or three, but this machine cannot log this information throughout a day, and that is our goal today. All right, let's go look in the cabinet. Okay, so as you can see inside the cabinet, we've got on this side of the disconnect, we have all three phases going to our machine. In these three phases, we have two wires on each phase. This makes it difficult to get around these wires in order to monitor because they're so bulky and they're spread apart a little bit. That's not going to be a problem for me today because I'm going to have the iFlex connector, which are flexible and can get into tight spaces like these. So here's the equipment we're going to use. We've got the Fluke Connects 3000 wireless digital multimeter. We have the three wireless modules that we're going to hang inside the cabinet door. And we have our three iFlex connectors that we're going to put around one around each phase inside the cabinet. All right, let's go ahead and hook it up. Even though these wires are very close together, because the iFlex connectors are small, it's really easy to get them hooked up on wires that are next to each other, which makes my job a lot easier. Okay, now that all three of my iFlex connectors are hooked up, we're going to go ahead and go grab the wireless module units in order to put inside the cabinet door. Now we're going to hang the three wireless module units. It's really nice that these modules magnetize to the door because in my current scenario, uh, we have a pinch factor when we go to close the door. We could uh, pinch a wire and compromise our information that we're, our data we're taking throughout the day. Um, with the organization that I get with the flex connector and the wireless module units, I know that's not going to be a problem and it doesn't take up a lot of room in my control cabinet. All right, let's go hook it up. Now that I've got my three iFlex connectors hooked up to my wireless modules, we're going to go ahead and power up the modules uh, so that they can talk with the Fluke Connects 3000. Let's turn their backlights on. Okay, so the last step is we're going to go ahead and push the wireless button on each one of these wireless units. And as you can see, we have a wireless indicator that comes up in the corner that lets us know we're ready. So now that we're ready to monitor this unit throughout the day, I think we're going to go ahead and close the cabinet doors and we're going to go get our Fuchs Connect 3000 and log this information. So now that I've re-energized the piece of equipment and we're running, I've connected to my three wireless modules inside the cabinet and as you can see we are monitoring each phase running through and to our machine currently. We're going to leave this here and we're going to let it log throughout the day so that we can trend and build a baseline for this piece of machinery.